Hey everybody, Mr. Nobody here, and today I'm going to play a game called Madman's Guide to Happiness on the Xbox 360. It's a indie game, which sounded interesting. It's a little storybook game, so I'm going to play through it real fast for those who haven't seen it. So, alright, it, it, it has an interesting story. So, alright, here we go. Alright, you are the first officer to arrive at the scene. Strange noises were reported, then screaming. Y you see a body hanging from the ceiling. Suicide. Their computer is still on. You check it for clues. It is filled with rantings and encrypted files. But it claims that whoever gains access to these files will gain the secret, uh, gain the secret to happiness. You begin to click. The princess loves her little bows with all her little heart. Out of the four colors, she chooses the blue one. You have four colors in front of you. Choose the blue one. Well, push the blue button. Uh, I'll let you, let's see. It took you a long time to reach here from your magic tower, princess. Uh, all right. Yeah, like I said, this is a storybook game, so if you guys want to pause it and read it, go ahead. Uh, I've already skimmed through it. There are two parts. You must understand, Princess, to first find your happiness, if you will, not the happiness of even if the animals and the plants. Their happiness slumped by the blacksmith of misery and the cows of holiday. You may have the cow and shout their eyes. But, you must, but I must test you for revealing the truth I have. <coughs> Alright, here comes a pretty neat animation. Alright, file two. Math. It takes one hour each. So it would take her one hour to reach me and her legs, but so it took her double two hours, four hours, eight hours. But then the wind blew in the right direction 16 times faster. So eight divided by eight hours divided by that's 30. So B. Listen, uh, frog worms, the fact that you're first and only clue. All right. I used to be sad and I cut my own wrist. I used to be mad and I sliced my own veins. I used to be bad and tore my own skin. Uh, but then I became happy. And I laughed till I puked up blood. Alright, file three. <laughs> Smile for me, princess. Uh, shattered glass, like a beautiful glass. A uh, whale because of her door. Can you count how many triangles her mind shattered into? Remember, there are larger triangles made up of smaller, tri uh, made up of several smaller ones. Four, eight. 12, 16, and 20. I wish I could actually show you where they are. I'll laugh, but there are 20 of them. Evolution. I do not care if you decide to crush me. For I am a monster who chose to kill his own eggshell. All right, number four. All right, this one you got to count the spiders inside there. So whatever, it doesn't matter. Whatever has two legs in it, or I mean a, a leg even partial counts as one whole spider. So... 
the top part has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. B has one, two, three, four, five. C has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And X has one, two, three, four, five, six. So A. Precious little monkeys, the precious little lives. Precious little lives eat precious little monkeys. It's precious to eat monkey little lives. All right. File five. Okay, what I detect, uh, a white eyed detective who would hang himself several years later walked into a crime scene. There were four bodies lying on the ground, and it looked like they had been killed by a pack of dogs. Each body had one limb ripped off uh, that ripped off that must have been taken away by the pack. Aside from the four human remains, there are uh, the remains of two dogs fully intact at the scene. How many limbs are at the scene? Three on each human, so that's uh, 12, plus each limb of the dog, which... That makes 20, plus the detective, which makes uh, 24, so X. All right. Well done. Not many would have thought to count the detective's limbs as well. This is a dead spider. They have eight limbs, greedy, and a bit selfish of them. I'm not impressed. Power. Power to turn it off and on. It's about, all about empowerment, self empowerment. Sad ones, happy. Lack of intelligence. Does not know that we know of its. Smothering evil ways. Once we can overcome unhappiness that evolution has caused us. I have a story to tell you. Get out! This was meant for her precious little lies, not yours! Well, blimey. I'm sorry, but I'm going to. With the whole shit, stupid, naive, weak, useless. Now we're on the hope file. Number six. I, uh, all you have to do is shoot the bad man. <laughs> Was the man you just murdered really a bad, bad man, though? And even if he was, did his mum, wife, son, friends deserve to suffer for his sins? He, he can never laugh again. He can never dream again. He can never hug again. Murders are like the gods of never. He liked to hug people with his arms. He was a right-handed guy. Hmm. Here's my story, sweet princess. Turn out the loud little dragon to flash the light. He was sad. Did nothing. Did nothing. This did nothing, and this did nothing. All right, and then eventually. Felt guilty and left. Clean it long. Felt guilty. See, and so hands be happy. There is nothing left. Ooh, another five. Ooh. No puzzles this time. Sorry, this note is not for the princess, but the person who is reading this document. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't hang myself. The thought of not seeing the queen and the princess again was too much. So a, so I used a, a little more power. I hung the devil instead so they would let me back into asylum. And I am hiding in the room now. 
waiting for someone to read this document so I can kill them from behind just to make super sure they let me into asylum again. I wish you the best of happiness. And I'm all, I, and I am, I'm so, so sorry. Ouch. <laughs> oh, there you guys go. It was, uh, creator, designer, writer, etc. As you can see in the little credits, was John Sturrock. Head tester and lead sock puppet was James Perugia. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing their names. So if anybody wants to check out some stuff from them, there I'll leave a link in the description. All right. Until next time, everybody. That was a madman's guide to happiness. Mr. Nobody out.